it seems so much louder than everything else. But why? I don't know, maybe it's because I had my audio all messed up. Hopefully, it sounds good. Hopefully, it actually sounds like really good now. Anyway, might have turned it down just a touch more. We'll turn it down a touch more. If that's too quiet, you know what? That's okay. If it's too loud, you know what? It's all right. How you guys doing? My name is Penta. I've been welcome back to Nuclear Throne. Just in a quick advisory, it has been several, several days since I played Nuclear Throne, so I'm going to just play as my boy, the robot. And hopefully you guys do not mind. I'm still not 100% comfortable with the fact that it's running at 144. I might have to set it back to 60, but honestly, since that last update that I did for Nuclear Throne Together, and I might try to roll back the update if I can, ever since I did the update for it, it just it seems to perform better, but I'm not accustomed to it. My brain is not used to the... Uh, well, this is fantastic. I'm not used to the... Maybe I'm not just not used to the frame rate on Nuclear Throne. Maybe I was so used to 60 after so long that that's all that my brain is capable of functioning. But I play most games at, you know, anywhere from 60 to 140. Most games I play are in, in that frame rate. But uh, anyway, I have talked about the frame rate a lot in this freaking series so far. So it's time for me to switch it up, and we're going to talk about something a little bit more interesting. I haven't played Nuclear Throne in several weeks since the last episode. There's a lot of uh, time between these uploads, and not really uploads, but there's a lot of time between this episode and the previous, and the key reason for that was I actually took a lot of time off. Not even just, like, from recording and getting a backlog for when I come back to YouTube, but I've actually taken time off from most things. Like, I didn't stream very often, if, if very little at all. I streamed a couple of times with the Unusual Crew guys, and then a few Risk of Rain streams, and then I kept playing Sekiro on stream, but... I'm still in that lull phase of coming off of my medicine, so... I'm just in that weird... You were just medicated for quite a while. And it's one of those weird situations where it's like, the medicine that I was on... made me... worse... Oh, no, okay, definitely not worse, but it made me... sick in order to make me better. And it was one of those weird situations where it's like, clearly the doctors knew what they were doing, the medicine did clear me up 100%. I'm, there's no symptoms of the situation that I did have. I'm incredibly grateful for that. Um, but the medicine that I was on was horrible and it made me feel absolute like, trash. Uh, it had some nasty side effects. But aside from that, uh, coming off of medicine, is never fun either, because coming off of medicine, excuse me, hello, coming off of medicine, you end up feeling like an actual garbage can. And more, more of this crap. Honestly, hold on. Hold on, excuse me. Eat this, take this, eat this, take this. Run over here, grab all this crap, kill these guys. <laughs> is a very silly start to this level. I should not have taken near as much damage as I did. Laser cannon definitely replaces a shotgun. But, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a, I hope you guys have been, uh, preparing yourself for the return of Nuclear Throne. I have. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked to be back playing Nuclear Throne again. It's honestly, playing Nuclear Throne right now, and this is just, we're gonna be 100% real with each other because I, I expect us to be a very communal community. I expect to talk to you guys and be real with you guys about everything that's going on with this panel. Nuclear Throne playing it now? It's a little weird, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be, be honest with you, 100% realistic here. It's a little weird, and I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna I'm not enjoying playing Nuclear Throne, because I am. I love Nuclear Throne. It's just strange playing something it's, it's really strange, and I think this is a strength that I can say towards... Excuse me. It's a strength that I can actually attribute to the game Risk of Rain 2, which I've been playing a lot of. And that is that Risk of Rain 2 
it's very hard to go to another roguelite after that. It's really hard to go to another roguelite after that because of just how solid that game is. The hyper rifle is fantastic. I walked right into that. Bad things are about to happen here. Sledgehammer absolutely replaces the... Excuse me. Pick up the sledgehammer, please. Pick up the sledgehammer! Thank you. Uh, the assault shotgun is very good. Unfortunately, it's not good enough. I'm going to go back over here, and I'm actually going to just take the laser cannon. I know what you're thinking, Benta. What are you doing? The absolute madman. Why are you taking the laser cannon over the hyper rifle? The hyper rifle is one of the best freaking items in the game. What are you talking about? I like the energy. If we can get a laser brain, we can we can conquer the entire world with this. Also, sledgehammer kills everything in here in one hit. So that plus the compact wrists makes us a deadly poison to the once. Horrible. Put the case also. Get fucked, please. We almost just died. I'm panicking slightly. Just slightly, though. Oh, yeah, it was the most the danger is. Uh, what are you gonna, what are you doing? What is almost happened? What did I get? You walked into him? What? Excuse me. I walked into him. How did this even manifest? What the shit? Game! Oh my god, Sindhru! Come on! Oh. What was that? Was that SMG? Shit, SMG. You guys wanna see how bad the SMG is? Eat it, please. Just get rid of it. Your driver, absolutely fantastic. This is our bad guy up there? Oh, he is. Oh, my wizard. Ooh, that's a Eat that, son of a bitch! Fucking bird. I should have not done that. I should have not done that in the slightest. I should most definitely have taken the hit, or just been chosen not to take the hit as, as well. These are all bad. So I'll take stress. Every single one of those upgrades was ass. They were all garbage. Shotgun is good. Let me just talk about one thing real quick. And it's not has it literally has nothing to do with the fact that I've died twice already uh, in under 10 minutes. Because we already know that I'm not feeling the nuclear throne wisdom coming through my bodies. I'm not I'm not a nuclear throne master right now, and it's going to take some time. So let me talk about something that's been on my mind in the time off from recording this thing. There has been some dis-, dis uh, like, there has been some discord in the comments. Excuse me, hello? And I'm not gonna ignore it, as much as I could ignore it, because, well, let's face it, sometimes there's gonna be people complaining in the comments and they're not justified. There is some, oh my god, the sledgehammer this early. I'm absolutely gonna take it. We're gonna munch upon this revolver real quick. Munch it. Take it. Smack it. Excuse me, you're gonna have to extremely die. Uh, there's been some discord in the comments about the length of the Nuclear Throne episodes. There's some people that are saying, Penta, they're too short, you need to not have episodes be as short. Can we talk about them being a little bit longer? And my, my explanation here is not that I don't want to record longer episodes, because I'm absolutely on your side when it comes to possibly doing longer episodes. My fear with these types of games, especially, when we're talking about an episode, I try to keep the Nuclear Throne series between 15 and 20 minutes. The reason being, if I start another run at 18 minutes, there is a significantly high chance that that run could end up being the run, which would then cause me to literally be 
playing until, you know, the run is like 40 minutes long. That's the problem here. And it goes for a lot of games, and that's why a lot of YouTubers, especially a lot of YouTubers, try to keep their, their series very strict on times. So, like, I'm a little bit more lax on time limits than other people. Like, I don't really give a damn. I'm not that guy. Like, oh, it's 20 minutes. We gotta stop now or else we're gonna freaking go over and, oh, the YouTube algorithm is gonna never recommend my videos as long as it's 30 minutes and one second. I'm not that guy. We all know that. Like, my freaking videos can sometimes go 45, 50, 60, you know, minutes. You know, there's a couple of videos that I had that are, like, an hour plus for a Let's Play. Not even just, like, a stream vibe, but, like, a Let's Play. And that's because sometimes you just don't have a place to stop. And I think that that's one thing we need to talk about with Nuclear Throne is, Nuclear Throne, there's a place to stop. Let's, let's face it, when you die, that's a place to stop, right? Bouncer shotgun is really good. I really like the laser rifle. I'm going to stick with the laser rifle. Bouncer shotgun is good, but I'm sticking with the laser rifle because if we can get a laser brain, like I always say, if we can get a laser brain... And especially now, if we can get a laser brain and a long arms, we're going to be doing fantastic. So the line for the videos... I think we're going to stick exactly where we are. Uh, I think if I die, and it's like 14 minutes and 19 seconds, that video is probably going to be over. Is it? Is it exactly 15 minutes? No. Did I make it to 15 minutes? No. Am I lying to you because I said 15 to 20 minutes? Yes. But from the YouTube perspective... I'm gonna, I'm gonna give myself that, I'm gonna give myself that cushion, <laughs> because, let's face it, I've had a couple of Isaac, or a couple of Isaac runs, especially early in my career of doing YouTube, but also just, like, where I've, excuse me, how did I take damage from that? Especially five damage, did I take explosion damage? From what? Excuse me, game. But yeah, I've had a couple of runs where it was like, oh yeah, we got time for another run. That video goes for too long. I'm not saying that you guys don't deserve to get like a 30 minute Nuclear Throne video, even though that would be extremely exhausting. Let me be real with you. Nuclear Throne is a fast paced mental gymnastics game. That was incredibly dumb of me. That was incredibly dumb of me, and I skipped through all of the bullshit. So we're gonna go back to Robot. We're gonna hit the. We're gonna hit the space bar accidentally, then we're gonna hit enter. We're gonna jump into this game. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the gist of that. It's like, I, I, I do think that our length of the episodes are perfectly fine. If it becomes too much of a problem, like if YouTube is literally... If 90% if of the comments that I get on this video are, But Penta, you need to respect our wishes. Do you have any idea how upsetting it is to wait three days for a video and then find out it's 14 minutes long? I get you. I get you. Like, I, I understand that point. I'm not exactly trying to make them 14 minutes long. Trust me, I would love it if I just won every run and they were 30 minutes long. Because, let's face it, if I die at 12 minutes and I do another run and that run lasts 15 minutes, you're going to get a longer video. Why did I... Excuse me, Penta. We have to take a serious conversation right now. Why did I keep the disc gun and eat the laser pistol. We have to talk about this. You ate a laser weapon and kept the disc gun. Objectively the, the worst item in the entire game. And now you have a slugger to speak of. What an idiot. Anyway, but that's, the, that's that gist of that. We don't need to go further more into that. That's just, that's just how I'm feeling, guys. Uh, second stomach, these are all bad. So, I guess we're gonna take extra chest spawn. I, I fucking... Sure. Is it good? Absolutely not. Is it better than friggin' getting more HP from medkits? Well, yeah, absolutely yes. But yeah. And that's not me asking you guys to go into the comment section and cause a freaking riot, because I don't want you to do that, but if you guys are so sincere that you need a 25-30 minute... <sighs> ...freaking nuclear drone episodes, then we'll, we'll have to decide that. But this game is a freaking tax on my brain. I... literally, these, this episode is... or these, these, this game is such a tax on my freaking brain. It's the only game I've played on this channel that I can record two videos at most. I gotta take a robot here. I mean, Corpse Puncher is really good, but... 
unfortunately we don't have a means to make it completely viable yet. We don't have any melee yet, which is very striking to me. That was a situation where Corpse Puncher would have been fantastic. Not gonna lie. I, I may... I may die. I did die, in fact. So that perfect example. Right here, you guys are like, Well, Benson, you just died and it was 15 minutes into the video. Why are you starting a new run? Because I'm in the middle of a conversation. That's another reason why sometimes we don't stop. This is the banter. You gotta respect the banter. And as soon as I start this run, there's gonna be no banter. Because now the conversation is over, but I'm still in the middle of a run and we gotta finish the run, guys. Anyway, but yeah, nuclear throw, man. It's a, it's a taxi game. This game gets my heart going, man. It's not good. Like, it's, it's good, but it's not good. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean. That's a freaking little leak. Do I, I don't have any upgrades because I just died. I was like, oh my god, I totally got better nutrition. There's no, because I just died. I need to eat a gun immediately. I might even eat my shotgun. Gotta take a little butt. Bloodlust is so good, but in this situation, you gotta go big, go home. You walk into a maggot, you have to, you have to survive. You must survive. There's way too many scorpions. Why is this all of a sudden an 80s Pajama party, my god. It's a perfect time for me to stop the video because the conversation is over and I get to test how loud everything is. And I might roll back the update. I said this a couple episodes ago, but I might actually roll back the update this time because it's very concerning that the game is performing non-optimally in an updated version, so I'll probably roll back. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for listening to my banter. And we'll catch you in the next episode of Nuclear Throne, where we will conquer the goddamn throne, I promise you.